this turned out to be a fast-moving story, including more allegations against Harvey Weinstein and his sexual uh, behavior toward women, including an allegation that he masturbated in front of a, a TV reporter. Uh, I think there's also a a, a thought that th there could be more to come. Many in Hollywood have been waiting to see exactly how this shakes out, and that will probably continue. Uh, he's not known to go down easily. He's fought back from bankruptcy before. He started over when he launched the Weinstein Company, and he, he's he's had comebacks before, as have many others in Hollywood who have been down such such dark paths as this. I, I do think the red carpets are going to be interesting for a while. I think they're going to be tough for a lot of people. I think, uh, I think, I think no one is going to be able to evade these questions uh, in the coming months. Um, I, 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 you know, whether it's sooner or later, I suspect you know, these actors, these stars are going to have to say something eventually. Without Harvey Weinstein, it's unclear exactly what the Weinstein Company would be. Uh, he has always been their public face, their main operator, their chief tastemaker, their studio chief, essentially. Uh, right now, Bob Weinstein, co-chairman, takes over leadership along with uh, chief operating officer David Glasser. Uh, but it, it, you know, going forward, we will see if the Weinstein Company continues to exist. I think a lot of people probably are scared uh, that, uh, about what could come out. I'm not sure if there's anybody else who, who, who had a kind of bullseye on their back like Harvey Weinstein did. Um, but, but, I, but I think it's probably telling that a lot of people have been quiet following this. I think probably there aren't a lot of people who, who don't have some story of, of witnessing or knowing about or experiencing some kind of sexual harassment in the movie industry.